I'm out here with a, uh, a new quad to me. This is a buddy's quad and I'm working on the KK board for him. So I just flashed uh, 1.5 on it and uh, that way we can get decent auto level working for him. Right now I'm not going to be using the auto level. I'm just going to show you guys how this thing flies with these sort of stock ESCs. Um, these are maybe YGEs. They might actually be Turnigy SS's. Uh, a little bit hard to tell with the clear shrink wrap on but they're just sort of one of the generic Chinese ESCs that a lot of people run on quads. So let me show you how this thing's flying. I got it as dialed in as I can, but there's a wobble I can't get out just because the uh, the refresh rate of the ESCs is pretty low. So my tuning numbers on this is 50 in the P gain, 95 in the P limit, 30 in the I gain, and 20 in the I limit. Do keep in mind, I will be flying auto level off. This is just to give you an idea what these ESCs do and then I will compare them after I swap the ESCs out with Simon K's. There we go. So, optimal conditions, flying pretty smooth. There's no unwanted behavior with minor movements. So you can see a little bit of a high oscillation there. I could probably bring the P down a tiny bit, but it'll lose a little bit of its lock. So I normally go for a little bit of a uh, a little bit of oscillation, as long as it's not enough that can throw the direction of the quad. Responsiveness is nice. When I pitch and let go, it still has a little wiggle to it, but it, it maintains its lock in that orientation, which is what you're looking for. Ideally, you'd see the thing pitch um, and then just lock its position with no wiggle. Some speed controls simply won't allow you to do that. Okay, so here we are, a couple days later. This is exactly the same quad, same motor, same speed control, same battery, same uh, control board, and exactly the same settings. So the PI settings are exactly the same as when I first uh, tuned them for the original ESCs that uh, this was supplied with. So I'm at 50p gain, 30i gain. That was about the sweet spot I found with the last ones. The downside was it had a an oscillation, a, a quick oscillation when I let go of the sticks, which was sort of give or take. You can you can take it out a little bit, but you lose a lot of crispness in the flight, so I kept it in. So this is exactly the same settings, but I do have Simon K flash speed controls. These are um, F3A speed controls, which are pretty much the best flashable speed controls for multi-rotors and uh, these are the 30 amp ones. I do actually sell these, so if you're interested, shoot me a, uh, a private message on YouTube and I sell them for 18 bucks a piece, pre-flashed, and they're done up real professional. They're flashed, there's no, you know, no solder or nothing like that on it. Um, it's shrunk wrap, got the sticker, and it's also in an anti-static bag, so they're about as good as they get. And um, what I'm gonna do is show you what the difference is between the Simon K and the standard speed controls in performance. So. Don't forget, it's uh, auto level off still. And Simon K speed controls versus standards with the same settings, identical settings. Now, there's less drift. It is a smoother flying craft, but the thing that's really notable is there's no, you can see I'm popping the controls and then letting it go. There's no wiggle. It just locks, and that's what you want. See, the craft doesn't, uh, it doesn't wiggle back and forth. It doesn't slowly come back to center. It just locks in its orientation. So that's just hitting, letting go. Now this is just with the same exact P and I gains, and it's flying actually really good, just like this. Much, much smoother. Now let's see what we can do as far as cranking the gains up. This is where the Simon K stuff really gets good. The Simon K will fly with um, pretty much any gains any other speed control can fly, but the thing that makes it amazing is you can really crank the gains up and get an even more stable craft. So let's see what we need to do here. I'm gonna bring the eye gain up to try to counteract a little bit more drift 
and I'm gonna go up to from about 30 to 60 that's double in the eye and I'm gonna go from 50 to 80 now I'm confident in this only because um, I'm bringing my limit back up to 100 too only because I know what the uh, characteristics of the Simon K are okay now this is drastically more. The other speed controls would not be able to handle this. Look at that, that's no auto level. And hands off. Now what I'm looking for is oscillations. But again, right, left, right, left. You get a little tiny oscillation right when I let go, but it's miniature. Very crisp. Oh yeah, that's much, much better. Less drift and a much more stable, much better flying craft. So what I can do here, Continue to bring that up a little. Let's go from 80 to 90. Bring the eye gain up a little bit more. That may end up coming down again. So, again, no shake, no wobble, just crisp. So I'll be able to go ahead and continue tuning this and probably bring the eye gain down maybe a little bit and generally you can double the P. So you can almost always double your P gain with Simon K speed controls, which is just really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thumbs up if you did. Feel free to PM me if you want to pick up some of these speed controls. I get them in pretty big lots, so normally I've got them in stock and shipped from the US within eight hours of the order. So. Thanks for watching guys, take care.